suppose uh, if we have uh, four students student one student two student three and student four right and uh, we want to uh, we want the students to take a seat and we have four seats one two three and four and the students wants to sit on the seat so uh, how can we possibly make them to sit on this uh, four seats right so uh, you can either uh, do it uh, one two three four you can do it two three four one or this way you can do many many options so if you try to uh, count the number of arrangement by writing it down it will be very difficult for you so instead of that we will take a approach uh, in which we will go seat by seat so let's take the example so for the first seat let's assume this one for the first seat we have four options either one can sit, sit on it two can sit on it three can sit on it or four can sit on it so we have four option for first seat right so once we have the four option then we look at the second seat now uh, when we count the second seat we already assume that the first seat is taken so if first seat is taken then there are only three people left because first somebody is already sitting there so in the second case uh, for the second seat we only have three option left and when we go to the third seat then because the first and the second seats are already taken so we only have two option left and for the last one uh, the last person has to sit on it so only one option is left so thereby uh, the total number of arrangement for four students to sit on four seats would be four factorial and which is called four into three into two into one so we call it four factorial so uh, if you calculate it it will be four into three twelve and 12 into 2 24 so the answer will be 24 different arrangements for them to sit uh, if you want to verify whether i did it correctly or not let's instead of having four students let's take two students so i say one and two and we have two seats so this you can also count you can sit have them sit in only two ways one two or two and one right so uh, your answer will be two factorial which is 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 right so you, you can calculate using factorial or you can do it counting because there are only two numbers here but if you have four numbers here then you cannot do the counting but you can calculate using the factorials so this is what we call factorials now let's go to the permutation let's take another example uh, in this case we will have uh, seven students and uh, there are only four seats so one two three and four so what will happen is for first seat we'll have seven possibilities for second seat because the first seat is already taken we only have six possibilities for uh, third seat we'll have five possibility and for fourth seat we'll have four possibilities so our answer will be 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 so uh, so why we didn't go till end because the number of students and the number of seats were different so in this case we can also write the above term as the 7 factorial divided by uh, 3 factorial or so that will be equal to uh, 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 4 factorial so or we can call it uh, n divided by n minus r where n is equal to number of students and r is equal to number of seats so uh, from here you can see that if we have n number of choices and uh, r number of arrangements then we can uh, do uh, or we can use the permutations uh, so same way uh, when it comes to combination then we will have to do something else so in case of combinations we uh, 
we are instead of suppose we have seven students so instead of let asking them to sit on the four chairs we are making a group of four students so if you make a group of four students then in this case suppose uh, student number 1 2 3 and 4 are sitting like this so even if they sit like 4 2 3 1 or they sit like 1 2 4 3 in the permutation all these three scenarios will be different however in case of combinations all of these threes are same because we are making a group they are not sitting on tables but they are we are making a group of them so in that case the number of possibilities will decrease and by how much time it will decrease by the number of possible arrangements uh, this four seats can have so in this case uh, we will just do the same uh, uh, permutation that will be equal to 7 divided by 7 minus uh, 4 that we did last time and then we'll also do 4 for factorial of 4 and why it is that because we can arrange the four seats um, in four factorial ways so in that case we have to divide it by 4 because in group it does not matter whether they are arranged in a particular way so for combination the answer will be equal to uh, n divided by uh, n minus r and then r so that will be the answer